residents who were victims of a structure fire were treated and released for smoke inhalation after their home on the west side of town caught fire early last Saturday morning. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies responded to a structure fire early Saturday morning, approximately 1.30, off of Bell Vista and Arvin Street near Corbin. We're going to speak to Lieutenant Anita Smith. We had a report for a structure fire. Crews responded and they found a well-involved garage and a uh, self-enclosed breezeway mm -hmm. uh, on fire and it had extended to the main structure. Who all responded to this? Uh, Pahrump Valley Fire Rescue responded with a a uh, normal complement of equipment, engines and tenders and ambulances. And uh, at first reported, it was pretty well involved, wasn't it? Uh, correct. The garage was, uh, from what I'm understanding, it's, it was basically fully involved uh, with extension into the breezeway and into the main structure. How do we fight this? Well, initially the crews decided to do a, a master stream attack to knock down the fire. Uh, it's a rapid attack to try to control as much as they can, and then they resulted into interior firefighting at that. Did we have any injuries on scene? Uh, there were two people that were treated for smoke inhalation. Uh, neither of those people were transported. They were both treated and released on scene. Those are the residents of the home? That's correct. And as far as the fire and the investigation is concerned? Uh, it's undetermined uh, right now. And so it doesn't look like it's maliciously intent um, fire? Uh, as far as we can tell, no. And um, as far as that's concerned, we also had Nye County Sheriff's on scene as well? Yes, they uh, frequently respond to us to help us control traffic. Uh, it's very, very dangerous with all of our equipment on the roads, so they, t they typically respond and, and control the traffic for us. Once again, the residents, two people were treated and released from the scene for smoke inhalation. Front by Fire and Rescue conducted the investigation, which appears to be accidental. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. The town of Pahrump and the International Firefighters Union has reached a deal in their negotiations. The town asked for the union to put a freeze on the 4% step increase in pay for the firefighters, which would save the town $145,000. did come to the table yesterday and they agreed to freeze the 4% step, thus saving the town roughly $145,000. Uh, and for that, the town says thank you very much, IAF. So these negotiations have been going on for a little while. You're not going to then uh, cut any more uh, positions at the um, Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue? There will be no RIF, no reduction in force whatsoever. We've guaranteed uh, no layoffs since they gave up the 4% step. Uh, it's, and it's not a pay reduction. They're just freezing the 4% that they would have gotten. Again, it saves the town $145,000, and I think that the men and women of the fire department need to be applauded, and uh, we say thank you. They did a great job. Was that the amount that you guys were looking for? That was the exact amount we were looking for. There you go. And so this will, um, wh when do you guys go back to the table next time? No, we go back to the table in February, March of uh, 2013 to completely redo the contract and open up the contract. And uh, I know it's going to be a long, drawn-out negotiations, as unfortunately they always are, because, you know, neither side can agree on little things, it seems like. But it's always a great thing. I'm, I am look forward to it. And I thank the union, especially Ray DeLuke, for stepping up and doing the right thing. Uh, you know, hey, they care about the town. They care about the town's budget, and they are doing the, the exact right thing. And for that, I say thank you very much, IAFF. A gunman killed six people and critically wounded three at a Sikh temple in suburban Wisconsin during last Sunday's services before police shot him dead. The attack is being treated as a domestic terrorism. The gunman opened fire when he entered the kitchen as women were preparing a Sunday meal. The suspect has been identified as Wade M. Page. The 40-year-old Page is a United States Army veteran who served from 1992 until 1998. Officials at the Southern Poverty Law Center said that they had been tracking Mr. Page for about a decade because of his ties to the white supremacist movement, and they described him as a frustrated neo-Nazi who had been a leader of a racist white power band. A new law office is open here in town. They held a ribbon cutting with lots of festivities on Friday at their location off Highway 160 and Nevada West. We spoke to the founder, Glenn Lerner. Well, we're one of the largest personal injury uh, firms in the country right now. You know, I started off in Vegas in uh, 1991, been very blessed, you know, have had my ups and downs, but we've grown, uh, got about 40 attorneys now nationwide, have offices in Vegas, Phoenix, Chicago, New Orleans, uh, Minneapolis, and Florida. Where are you originally from? I'm from Boston originally. And uh, you decided to open an office right here in Pahrump. Tell me why that's important. 
Um, I just felt this was an outlying community that was being underserved. A lot of people have to come into town a lot, and there weren't many lawyers here. And um, we have some relations over here, some nice people we've known, and we just felt it was a community we could uh, it'd be mutually beneficial. You mainly focus on injury law, right? Yes, ma'am. We also handle uh, criminal cases, and we'll help out people with bankruptcy and stuff, but it's been primarily a personal injury firm for 20-plus years. Is it important to contact an attorney as quickly as possible after an injury? Yes, certainly. Why is that? Um, you know, one of the things, you don't want to let too much of a uh, time lapse happen in a personal injury case because the defense, you know, the insurance company is going to argue, well, if you were really injured, you would have gotten to a doctor right away. And you want to be able to substantiate that the injuries are causally related to the accident. So the sooner you do that, the better. And certainly if you're in pain, you want to go see somebody as soon as possible. Prump here today, you're going to have this big grand opening. You kind of invited all the uh, families to come out and uh, enjoy in the festivities. Uh, some of the girls in my office did an amazing job getting it together. So there's going to be a lot of face painting and uh, barbecue and gosh, I don't know, just a lot of things. Hopefully it'll be a little fun just to say hi to everybody and you know, to show that we appreciate the community welcoming us. And you know, hopefully we can be a, a benefit and uh, a good friend to the community. I want to thank everyone for coming out today. We're here with uh, Glenn Lerner, injury attorney. He's one of our newest members to the Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce and also newest business in Prump here. We're excited to have him here in our town. He's got uh, live music going on. He's got free food. You guys come out, check it out from 11 to 1, I believe, today. And uh, at this time, we're just going to officially do his ribbon cutting. Yeah. Can I say something? Yep, absolutely. And I'd just like to tell everybody, don't run with scissors. <laughs> but if you do, you know who to call. In a wreck, need a check? And once again, congratulations to Glenn Lerner and all the attorneys. Welcome to Prompt. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And folks, we'll be right back with more of News 46 Week in Review right after this.